Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm Darren McBreen. It is Wednesday, June 25th, 2014. Here's a quick look what's coming up. Tonight, the United Nations is accepting resumes for professional gun grabbers. Then, British cops train to take on their own citizens in a mock city. And DHS admits they're playing catch and release with illegal immigrants. That's next on the InfoWars Nightly News. 42,000 pairs, 6X for the illegal aliens. We're being invaded by South American walruses. The Department of Homeland Security is now openly admitting that they are using your tax dollars to ship illegal immigrants to any part of the country that they want to go. Now, this confirms InfoWars reports that federal agencies are basically standing down from enforcing border security. Instead, they're actually escorting thousands upon thousands of Central American immigrants deeper inside the United States. AP is reporting that the Obama administration is well aware that they are letting illegals go free. Of course, we know it's by design, and they have released an untold number of immigrant families caught traveling illegally from Central America. And although the government knows just exactly how many they've released, they're not telling anybody. They refuse to say publicly just how many illegal aliens they are allowing to flood into the country. The AP report goes on to say that immigrants primarily from Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador, have been released into the U.S. interior by the federal government. And they're being told to report within 15 days to the nearest U.S. Immigrations and Custom Enforcement offices. Uh, yeah, like they're all going to do that. And this underscores our InfoWars investigations over the past several weeks detailing how federal border agencies have been issued a top-down order to stand down, effectively surrendering control of the U.S. southern border to the overwhelming flood of illegal immigrants. Now look, this is a catch and release program orchestrated by the DHS. The Border Patrol has been ordered to release illegal immigrants in places like Southern California, Arizona, and South Texas. This way, they will blend in and nobody will really notice or even care. They are not being screened for communicable diseases. Many of them are violent criminals or gang members, but the message is clear, all right? It's amnesty for all. We no longer enforce our laws and the borders are wide open. Thus, the invasion. Thank you, Obama. And don't forget that this sudden tidal wave of immigrants began as soon as El Presidente Obama announced his deferred action program, which basically gave the green light to come on down. And Obama knows that most Americans are compassionate and conveniently uninformed. And this allows him to deliberately arrange for the flood of immigrant children to arrive in our country for his own twisted political purposes. This is no accident, my friends, and this is not a humanitarian crisis. No, this is a well thought out, orchestrated assault on our country by a rogue administration. With daily reports of illegal immigrants crossing into the United States, InfoWars headed to South Texas to investigate. In McAllen, Texas, we found that church groups were working with the city of McAllen to transport and house illegal immigrants who had been recently released by the Border Patrol. Many immigrants were fleeing countries that could be considered failed states. Now, as you can see behind me, there's a van that's ready to transport some children. I'm not sure if they're going to a military base. I'm not sure if they're going to another church facility. But as you recall, our reporters went to San Antonio, Texas and encountered some children at a base there. The representatives we talked to did stress that the illegals they were housing had orders to appear in court for entering the country illegally. We spoke to the emergency manager in McAllen, who told us he had reason to believe that Border Patrol was providing at least some of the Central American immigrants with travel accommodations. The only ones that you'll see here are family units mm -hmm. that are like a mom and a couple of kids that they have determined don't pose any sort of security risk and right. have a criminal background and they've got relatives or um, help somewhere in the interior. Mm -hmm. So that category of people 
again, it was our understanding they provide them a ticket. Right. And then they drop the them Border Patrol provides them a ticket. That's what we were told, and that's what I understood. With what we learned, we went to the border in search of illegal crossings. We spotted a Border Patrol unit tailing us, so we pulled over to the side to see if it actually was following us, and indeed it was. No longer being pursued, we headed to South Padre Island on a side mission. Earlier this year, InfoWars had tested radiation levels on the U.S. West Coast, and since the immigration story had brought us to the Gulf Coast, we decided to test that as well. During the trip, we had been in contact with an ICE agent who was eager to blow the whistle on practices in his organization. His report revealed chilling health concerns. What are you guys doing to help uh, keep the diseases or the sickness to a minimum? Are you guys giving them any type of uh, medication in your facilities? Absolutely, yeah. If, if uh, whoever is uh, going to be detained, uh, they, they go through a lengthy, a lengthy screening process, mm -hmm. doing short chest x-rays, check for tuberculosis, uh, things of that nature, and uh, they're treated. They're treated, and typically, let, let's say, for example, a person with tuberculosis will not be released until, until either A, the treatment, the treatment uh, is completed, or B, they can uh, get together with, with the country of uh, the person where they're from and uh, get with medical there and make sure that they can continue to take their treatment when they upon return to their country. What's the most common illness that you see coming from these Central American countries? We do get our isolated cases of people with uh, tuberculosis. Uh, there may be a, a couple that, that come through that that they admit to having uh, a communicable disease. But I mean, really, we don't check for, we don't check for communicable diseases. You know, we, we don't, that's not part of the screening process. Later, our search took us to Brownsville, Texas. We tried to talk to the public information officer at the border crossing, but he refused to comment on camera. He told us to put in a media request that would be responded to within 21 days. While I was conversing with the PIO, a rifleman was dispatched to deal with the rest of our crew as they were filming the checkpoint. I just want to report some illegals. This guy has a gun. This guy has a... An assault rifle. Our original mission to film illegals being transported to bus stations had exceeded beyond our expectations. We even found out that FCC controlled media had followed in our footsteps in McAllen. We headed home, but with one last checkpoint separating us from Austin, the security theater was impossible to avoid. Like the TSA, Border Patrol screens at mandatory checkpoints. It seems like the individual agents use their own discretion to judge who and who is not on the level. InfoWars reporter John Bound decided to tell the Border Patrol that if they really wanted to do their jobs effectively, he had a few suggestions on where they could find illegals. Hi, how you doing? Hey, uh, I just want to make you aware of the fact that uh, the organization you work for, the Border Patrol, yes. Is funding illegals coming into our country completely illegally. Are you aware of that? I am aware of that. We gotta talk to somebody else. We got chased around by Border Patrol because we're American journalists. Now, uh, Border Patrol is part of an illegal act against the American people. I'm not some whack job. I just wanted to bring it to your attention and, and let you know that you may run into more people like me. You can find more reports at InfoWars.com. To those of you in the audience who are business people, pretty simple. If you're paying $12, $13, $14 an hour for factory workers, pay a dollar an hour for your labor, have no health care, that's the most expensive single element in making a car, have no environmental controls, no pollution controls, and no retirement, and you don't care about anything but making money, there will be a giant sucking sound going south. And we are now learning that the feds have started to close down areas near the border that have traditionally been open to the public, uh, perhaps because of info wars. Well, regardless, they definitely want a media blackout. They've also begun restricting journalists from those very same areas, citing safety concerns. Yeah. All right, so uh, the feds are ordered to stand down as the U.S. border collapses. They don't want us to report on it. They don't want you to know about it. Forget about it.
but we're not gonna forget about it. We are gonna continue to cover the border collapse every single step of the way. In fact, we have several reporters en route to those very same restricted areas as we speak. So be sure to stay tuned and tune into Infowars.com for more groundbreaking updates. Hey, we're gonna take a quick break right now. The Infowars Nightly News will return right after this, so stick around. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. As federal agencies stand down to what can only be described as a total collapse of our borders, the United Nations is preparing for a massive civil breakdown right here in the U.S. And they have accelerated their plan for global gun confiscation after the imminent collapse of our country, even going so far as posting job offers for commanders who will be trained to seize guns, and I quote, from the civilian population. Oh man, we've been warning you about this for a long time. We've shown you the official documents. I mean, this is what the UN does. They've done it worldwide, and uh, I guess they think we are next. A posting on the United Nations Career Opportunities page announces a vacancy for the position of disarmament, demobilization, and reintegration officer under the UN's Department of Peacekeeping Operations in New York. So they plan to use the border collapse to bring down this country and usher in martial law. Problem, reaction, solution. Here's Alex Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here with a maximum alert. Last week we were contacted by Army personnel, by MPs, and then by Air Force MPs about United Nations advertisement solicitations that were being hung up in the barracks to recruit them for gun confiscation during collapse in America. That happened about a week and a half ago almost. Then in the middle of last week, we were sent the United Nations career advertisement that just went up by the same people saying, look, we've looked into it, here it is, for during a collapse, gun confiscation to stabilize things. And the RAND Corporation came up with a plan 20 years ago for this national stability police force. This is what the UN